So when we entered the water, it was devastation. There was complete kelp bed loss. Uh, we literally could not find a sea urchin anywhere in the ocean from the surface all the way down to five metres in of water. In an area where normally you'd be trying to dodge sea urchins when you get into the ocean. This is a change in the environment that shouldn't have happened in a lifetime, let alone in the space of just a few short weeks after this storm event. The keystone indicator species which we witnessed were decaying and were already long dead today on our dive and snorkel. It was seriously devastating to see a complete loss of the entire habitat within zero to five to eight metres of depth. The interesting thing with this impact is that it's just isolated to the intertidal and subtidal zone. And so for a normal recreational diver going diving in Sydney, they're probably not going to recognise that there's any real impact because the dive sites are still beautiful and everything's still thriving in the deeper water. The events of the last few months have really caused havoc with our study areas. In particular, um, we've heard and seen that the Incredible storms and bushfires are linked together to um, really create a lot of poor water quality in places like Botany Bay. Loss of kelp beds that have been there for scores of years, on sea urchins, which are pretty tough provided the water is nice and salty. So the feeling at the moment is that rather than being the storms, that it may well be that these freshwater muddy plumes of water have come down from places like the Georges River and Upper Botany Bay impinge upon these areas that rarely see that low salinity. The most heartbreaking thing for me was seeing absolute graveyards of sea urchin spines and sea urchin tests littering the ocean floor. We were not even trying to find them and we were just happening upon them all over the place. And I would pick up a whole handful of these sea urchin spines and it was like I was picking up the dead bodies of these animals and it's just devastating. This was brought to our attention when the Abyss Project staff were out doing monthly inspections for local councils throughout Sydney, checking for the marine species that are growing on the netted swimming areas all along the coast in all the different waterways. We immediately sprang into action, deploying teams across Sydney Harbour, Botany Bay and the Port Hacking to assess how much damage had occurred to these ecosystems.